A close study of the Gospels reveals that the most common title Jesus used for himself is Son of Man. In fact, he used it 81 times in the Gospels, though no one else used it to refer to him. When the Jews heard Jesus call himself Son of Man, their minds would have immediately leapt to Daniel 7. In this prophecy, Daniel writes about the end times when one like the Son of Man will come with authority to judge the world. Jesus was claiming that title for himself and communicating to his first hearers that he has the right to judge humanity. But this title also refers to Jesus' own humanity. Think of the humility Jesus endured in becoming the Son of Man. God eternal and magnificent made himself nothing by taking the very nature of a servant, being made in human likeness, and being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient to death even death on a cross. Philippians 2 verses 7 and 8. Jesus emptied himself of heavenly glory while still retaining his deity and submitted to the humiliation of becoming a human. From his position as Lord of the universe, he stooped down to become a servant, washing his disciples' dusty feet. He set aside all his prerogatives and became like one of us, bound by time and space trading all the riches of heaven and becoming poor in both literal and figurative sense. This son of man was unlike any other son or daughter of man, fully God and fully man. Jesus entered our physical existence and experienced the joy and anguishes of being human, yet without sin. What could possibly motivate him to do all this? Love. That is the beauty of the doctrine of incarnation. God, invisible, glorious, untouchable, took on flesh for us. Here's the challenge. In one of the most touching scenes in the Gospels, Jesus humbles himself to wash his disciples' feet. Read John 13 verses 3 to 17. Make a note of what Jesus knew going into this scene, how he responded to the different disciples, including Peter and Judas, and why he acted as the way he did. Jesus' example calls us to bow low in humble service. Who is God calling you to serve today? Imitate him by stooping down and using your spiritual gifts to serve others as you would serve Christ himself. Let us pray. Jesus, Son of God, I'm so awed by your life of humble service. You laid aside all glory and majesty to take on the form of a servant, while I grasp at the few strands of popularity and prestige I imagine I have. Forgive me, Lord, for the pride in my heart and my desire to be better than or more important than others. Make me a servant and teach me to serve others joyfully. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. My name is Altier Paris, and Jesus is the Son of Man.